How it do everybody? There's Wrath here, bringing another video, going over the men's part of the hero spawn. Same thing for this one. If you uh, see this, the spawnable gear, this is not what you're guaranteed. This is after what you're guaranteed. Once you get that guaranteed, you still have a chance of getting an SSR. And whatever SSR you get, it could be from one of these. Or this, or this. Anyways, continuing on. I went to the spawn. I'm gonna give you a healthy mindset. Too healthy, actually. I don't know why I got this. Wrong like the last time. First of all, don't do the spawn if you only want one monster or thing from it. Same for other spots. If you only want one thing from it, you're gonna hurt yourself more than... You're gonna hurt the game. Honestly, make sure you have multiple monsters you want from the spawn, because it will increase your, your chances of getting something you want. That way, you won't be going like, Oh, this game's bad, I have bad luck, blah, blah, this and that. Honestly, because if you're going for the 33 gear cost, you're probably not going to get it. But if you want multiple monsters, say you want um, Jupiter, you want Lu, Lu Zhang, you want Thor, you want that Jupiter, you want Yukumar, you want TYR, and you want Owner of Gods. That puts you at a 7 out of 9 chance. You have a 7 out of 9 chance of getting a monster you want. And with that type of luck, you're going to be more like, Yeah, I'm lucky, I get the monsters I want, yay, and all that stuff. More than, oh, I didn't get the monster I want, blah, blah, and this game's bad, and bad RNG, and all that stuff. Make sure you have multiple monsters you want. Don't throw your gems down the drain for this, if you don't have multiple monsters you want. They're, all these monsters you're seeing right here are come and go monsters, frequently. They're not going to be here, except for, like, Nobanga. Same for some of the other monsters over here. Most of these monsters, almost all these monsters are um, featured, but they're all coming frequent, come and go. They're not going to be here at one time. They're going to come, they're going to be gone. Maybe in a couple weeks they'll be back. Maybe in a couple days they'll be back like Odin. <laughs> Odin appeared three times. He appeared in the monster spawn, the treasure spawn, and this spawn. So, they're come and go. They're not going to be here. They're not a one and done deal. They're, they're definitely come and go. So don't worry about it. If you're free to play, just like it takes time to wait, just like it takes time for the monster spawn or whatever featured spawn you want to come out, it's going to take time to get gems. You are prepared for the war ahead. So if you only want one monster, don't do this. I'd recommend doing this if you have three monsters you want. Which, this one's not that hard, because I could tell you right now, before I even say anything, I could label 7 out of 9, the ones I just said, of these monsters considered to be good, to really, really good. Going on to it, though. Nubanga. He removes buffs from all enemies. I'm going to be only going up over the uh, good abilities. I'm going to be talking about whether he's good or not. This one is... Decent. Just decent. I would not worry about him. He's a little under decent. I wouldn't. I. No, he's a little. He's a little under decent. He's he's, he's a fodder type. He's a fodder type deal. Um, if you ain't got that type of a uh, thing though, because he attacks and he uh, removes buffs. He's like Ice Blade. Honestly, he's like the water version of Ice, the fire version of Ice Blade. I wouldn't worry about him to be honest. Thor, God of Thunder. He increases your stats by 40%. He reduces. He re, um not reduces. He attacks. So he's not bad. He's 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 decent. He's honestly decent. Is all I could say. If you're wondering why I'm not calling out paralysis or confusion by any chance. How it works is if you only if you pretty much it's only gonna proc once if it hits and you all know if it procs once it's not it's most likely not going to succeed so unless you have this planned out with other people that have like a similar monster that does confusion or paralysis as well 
you park three times, it's most likely gonna hit, so. But chances of that happening are slim, especially if you're random. I mean, like, if it's random, it's slim, I meant to say. So, yeah. Jupiter, though. Jupiter is excellent. All around, all of his abilities are great. Besides the fact that he is a lesser stat sticker, but he's got potential count, so he has a... He could he could potentially have better be a better stat sticker than this guy, and he's the 30 cost. The higher the cost, the better the stats. By the way, yeah, he's good all around. Cost recovery speed. He brings back um. He brings back um unisonly quicker. Um, his stats don't increase stats. It does not really do good for mages or clerics because they're all they're both based on magic attack. Clerics are based on magic attack and magic defense for when they heal as well as whatever their abilities and skills and all that stuff are. Going on is Yu Lang. All of his abilities are pretty much good. His increased allies critical damage by 30 for 60 seconds is decent. Same for recovers 20 cost in your character. That's pretty decent. Other than that, his abilities are good. He's a good monster all around. Jupiter's excellent besides the fact that he's not a good stat sticker. Going on, Thor Barbecue King. He's good all around. He is a tank based monster. He's not really DPS or anything other than that. He's a different type of monster. He's tank based. I just want to say right now. Here and now. Most of the monsters you beat, DPS or they help in other ways. This one's actually legitimately a tank type monster. So he's more useful for soldiers and stuff like that. Jupiter Galactic Butler. He is good all around. No doubt about it. Um, you cast Piercer. If you don't know what Piercer is, it pretty much goes through. I think it goes through barriers. And he goes through defense. Going on with Yukamara. He looks cool. I want him just because of his looks. He's pretty good. He's a pretty good monster. This cast fire element can be helpful in some occasions, but other than that, that's a decent ability. TYR, besides his paralysis, his abilities are really good. And then there's a he's a good monster. They're both good monsters. He's good good he's good between good and good good no he's good good um he's excellent good 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 excellent so now we're going to odin of gods removes resurrection ward and other damage nullifying effects i already went over this before all of his abilities are good he specializes though he is extremely good for um, a 1v1 in the guild, whether it's Coliseum, you're like the last person left 1v1, PvP, or boss battles. He's really, really good in any of those. He excels in that. He excels in a 1v1 uh, versus against one type um, monster or player. Other than that, he's pretty good. But he excels in that type thing. He is really good for that type of uh, battles. And that's it for one of the men. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, they don't have Jupiter here. But yep, that's it. Hopefully that clears your mind on some stuff. And please do not do this if, unless you're a whale. You'll, if you only have one monster you want from this, that is guaranteed. I do not want to see you hurt yourself, because there are so many other good monsters you can get from this. So if you only want one, please don't do it. That's it. Hopefully that cleared some uh, of the fog with the spawn. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.